This is the Morning Swim Show Streamline for Friday, April 9th, 2010, bringing you news from aquatic sports around the globe. Last month, the University of North Florida announced it was cutting their women's swimming and diving program. Well, some good news today. After reevaluating the impact that move would have on the school's gender equity balance, the athletic department has decided to reinstate the team. UNF now has eight women's sports and uh, seven men's sports. The university does not have a men's swimming team. The YMCA Nationals completed the second day of swimming in Fort Lauderdale, and Margot Gear and Nicholas Caldwell again the top swimmers. Gear won the 200 free in 146.20, setting a new meet record. Then she anchored Springfield's 400 free relay in 48.4. She's also the top qualifier for tonight's 100 free final. She went 49.39 in prelims. And Caldwell, he won the 1,000 free in 90017, breaking the meet record that once belonged to Charlie Hoochin, who's now an All-American at University of Michigan. You can go to SwimmingWorld.com throughout the weekend for recaps from Saturday and Sunday. And this weekend is a landmark weekend for SwimmingWorld.tv. We're going to have live streaming coverage from coast to coast, literally. We'll bring you live coverage of two events on both coasts of the U.S., Last night, we started it off bringing you the open day of finals live at the Far Western Championships in California. Madison White has become the swimmer to watch after one day of competition. we got some video to show you right here. The 15-year-old, she won the 200 back in the 15 to 16 age group with a 159.12, seven seconds ahead of the pack. White broke her own meet record in the event. That meet continues through Sunday. And in Jacksonville, Florida, tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern, we'll bring you live coverage of the Jax 50 Sprint Challenge from the Bulls School. The event will feature some of the top swimmers in the world, helping, they're helping to raise money and awareness for leukemia research. Those swimmers include Ryan Lochte, Cullen Jones, Matt Grievers, George Bavell, Christine Magnuson, Amanda Weir, and Carolyn Joyce. They and many more will be in Jacksonville for a one-day round-robin competition where the swimmers will go head-to-head -head in the 50-yard free. Just learned there's going to be a 100 backstroke head-to-head -head duel between Grievers, the Olympic silver medalist in the 100 back, and Nick Thoman, the world record holder in the short course meters 100 backstroke. This duel will take place at 2 p.m. Sunday. And finally today, ABC will air an investigative report tonight on the sex abuse scandal that's now a heavy topic of discussion in USA Swimming. The report will air on 2020 tonight at 10 Eastern Time. USA Swimming currently the subject of a lawsuit brought on behalf of a former swimmer who alleges she was sexual, sexually abused. And she says that USA Swimming has not thoroughly investigated coaches when they apply for membership. Several other people have made similar allegations, and in at least one case, a coach was convicted. And that's it for the news today. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.